So you have a drug that works for anxiety, attention, depression, and mania, and prevents suicide and dementia at tiny doses and at low prescription doses where the vast majority of people have no side effects. And where even at standard doses, 95 to 99% of people don't have any long-term kidney or medical issues. Why are we not giving this drug more? Why are people uncomfortable with it? Why are clinicians and patients afraid of it? And I think the answer to that why question is because for the last 50 years, we have been overdosing lithium and we have been following this false dogma that you have to get it to a therapeutic level of 0.8 or so. And that's based on very weak literature. Some years ago, I looked at that research and I was impressed at how weak it was. There's some evidence that that level is appropriate for acute mania. That's where it, the level might be relevant for a full-blown acute manic episode. But for depression, it's never been shown you need a level of 0.8, not for bipolar depression or unipolar depression. It's never been shown that if you don't get a level of 0.8, you don't get better. For bipolar type two illness, it's never been shown you need a full level. Lower levels can be effective. 